And I'm back with you very, very briefly to finish the book of 1 Samuel at chapter 31, verse 8. We'll be going into the book of 2 Samuel. And it came to pass on the morrow when the Philistines came to strip the slain that they found Saul and his three sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. Notes. As the spoiling was deferred to the next day, the struggle must have been obstinately contested and decided only just before nightfall. But no matter how intense the struggle, the flesh simply just cannot win. It's not going to happen. Verse 9. And they cut off his head and stripped off his armor and sent into the land of the Philistines round about to publish it in the house of their idols and among the people. Notes. Uh, this was probably done not simply in retaliation for what had happened to their champion Goliath, but in accordance with the customs of ancient warfare. The fierce joy of the Philistines over the fallen Saul proves how great had been their fear of him and how successful he had been in breaking their yoke off Israel's neck, at least up to a point. And they, of course, give their credit to their god Dagon in First Chronicles chapter 10, verses, uh, verse 10, I believe. Anyways, verse 10. And they put his armor in the house of Ashtaroth, and they fastened his body to the wall of Beth Shan. And when the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead heard of that which the Philistines had done to Saul, all the valiant men arose and went all night and took the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons from the wall of Beth, from, of Beth Shan and came to Jabesh and burnt them there. And they took their bones and buried them under a tree at Jabesh and, fastened seven, er, and fasted seven days. Hmm, notes. This was cremation, and though highly practiced among certain nations, is mentioned here for the first time in the Holy Scripture, and was probably re resorted on in this occasion, rather than burying them to ensure the bodies of Saul and his sons against further maltreatment. You know, they did that to keep him from being, uh, well, defeated even more than he already was. And that concludes the book of First Samuel. Thank you very much. And God bless.